most parents would think is a completely scary experience of their child getting their driving permit. For a parent like me who has been through what Elliot, you know, been with Elliot through this journey, um, I have to tell you, I never thought that I would see the day when Elliot would get the opportunity to go and get a driving permit. Right, stand by the wall. Yeah. Right, look at the blue dot, get ready. Three, two, one, smile. How's that look? Good? All right. My name is Elliot and I am a transplant recipient. The day that Elliot got his side ache was just a usual day and in fact I thought that he ate too many nerds or other kind of junk food candy and so like a typical mom I said Elliot you need to drink some water, you need to just lay down for a while, we'll have some dinner, everything will be fine. His older brother Dylan happened to be here and checked on him and said, Mom, this is quite serious. I, I think you need to take Elliot in. I think he is having an appendix attack. So we went into the ER in Apple Valley and they took some blood and they took different types of tests. We were there all night until the next morning and then they came in and told us that I had 11 centimeter tumor, the size of a softball around on my um, liver. Elliot was diagnosed with hepatoblastoma, which is a rare form of liver cancer. Then we went to six months of chemo, and then we stopped because I was getting really sick, and then I got a liver transplant. Elliot was transplanted overnight uh, in June of 2010, and he did very well during his surgery. Shortly after his surgery, though, we realized that it just something had changed, and he wasn't doing well because we weren't able to go back and see him right away. And then they came out and let us know that he had actually coded. So we knew immediately, within a few hours after surgery, that this new great liver that he had just been transplanted with was not going to be able to survive. And without your liver, you can't survive. They took out my liver that was failing and put in the other one and then we did a little bit more, a few more months of chemo, and then they said that everything was gone, so. The change I saw in Elliot after he had his transplant was just incredible. When he was sick, he was so little, like 80 pounds, just so skinny and no hair or anything, of course. And now he's just healthy, he looks like any other normal kid, and he's able to do sports and play with his friends and all kinds of stuff, so it's really just a miracle. Okay, so then this is the section where it says, it was reassuring sharing that the same person that took their box for me, so they gave me, it feels like they gave me my life back. And when I check the box, I feel like I'm giving somebody life back too. He understands that he has uh, probably lived uh, a bigger journey in many ways than, than most adults ever will, thankfully ever have to but it gives him a different lens for the world. And so he, again, doesn't see it, anything as a limitation. I feel like I can push things more to the limits than most kids, like, oh, I'm a, most kids would say, oh, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that. And I'd be like, I've came to a life, a near death experience, and I just like to push things like, I don't, like probably just snowboarding, like, I like to go down the steepest hills, go off the biggest jumps that I possibly can, trying new things, pushing things as far as they possibly will go till I can break it, the boundary, and just seeing how far my life can go. 